In order to maintain equilibrium, molecules can diffuse into or out of cells between the cytoplasm, the extracellular fluid, and the blood plasma. The normal concentration of these body fluids is about 90% water and 10% salt. Why does the concentration of my blood and my cells matter, and how can it change? When you eat salty foods, or when you don't drink enough water, you can change the concentration of your blood. Salt concentration becomes higher than normal conditions, while water concentration becomes lower. If you sweat a lot and lose salts, or if you overconsume water, you could actually make your blood dilute. By dilute, we mean the blood could become more watery than usual. There would be a higher than normal concentration of water and a lower concentration of salt. Let's see how these changes affect our cells. Water is permeable to the cell membrane. It can diffuse into or out of cells. The diffusion of water is called osmosis. Osmosis is when water passively moves from a higher to a lower concentration. Osmosis allows water to diffuse into or out of cells depending on the concentration gradient. The end result is an equal concentration of water inside and outside of the cell. So why does the diffusion of water get its own fancy name? What's so special about it? Osmosis is special because when water moves into or out of a cell, it changes the volume or size of the cell. Let's look at an example. Here is a red blood cell that is in equilibrium with its environment. But what would happen if this cell was in a watery environment? The cytoplasm is no longer in equilibrium with the extracellular fluid. There is now a higher concentration of water outside of the cell. There is a lower concentration of water inside the cell some water would diffuse into the cell. If water moves into the cell, it will increase in volume and expand. This could eventually cause the cell to burst. What happens if a cell is in a salty environment? When the salt concentration is increased, the water concentration decreases. Let's get rid of these salt molecules so we can focus on the water concentration. There is now a higher concentration of water inside the cell and a lower concentration outside. Water will diffuse out of the cell from high to low concentration. If water leaves, the cell will decrease in volume and shrivel. Osmosis occurs when the water concentration of our body and cells changes. It's important to maintain a proper balance of water and salts to avoid any cellular harm.